as Hu Zhao mentioned, my name is Xiang Adao. So first, before I get on with this presentation, I would like to thank ECU and Professor Dr. Octavian Vass. Um, it's great to be back at campus. And then I would like to thank our managing director, Yu Zhao, for giving me this opportunity as a graduate engineer to represent my company, ACE. Just for your information, I'm a SCADA engineer at Australian Control Engineering. After my graduation, I worked for PTA, uh, Public Transport Authority, in completing a project at Forestville Airport Link. So that's uh, 30K signals, SCADA signal testing between PLC and SCADA. And then after that, I did internship at Australian Control Engineering. That's how I uh, got myself the role as a SCADA engineer at ACE. At ACE, uh, currently, what I did in this past six months was I've been working on uh, upgrading this from clay SCADA to latest version of Geo SCADA. That's all about, about me. Without further ado, I would like to explain not the engineering, but then the management with that we have in our ACE. company, we follow a standard management process for managing any projects, be it minor or major projects. So for now, I have categorized them in five stages. The first stage is like what we do is initial contact. The, any projects that we get in ACE is through tendering or quotation. And from referrals and maintaining existing clients. The second stage, we quote, quote for that project. And then it, it gets accepted. And then we, we know that we have projects in hand. And basically, the quoting and accepting process mainly, that's a lot of documentation work. And the two stages are looked after by our senior management at ACE. The quoting and accepting process in the documentation process, it mainly includes all the designs criteria, design requirements, inclusion, exclusions, any assumptions that need to be taken care of, and then all the variations, whatever happens between these two processes are being captured as a shared folder in our uh, ACR point. So the remaining three stages are pretty much the most important things. That's for project manager and engineer, engineers like ourselves. The third stage is the planning process. In the planning process, that's where we form a team led by a senior engineer or lead engineer. So, and then we have other engineers under them. So in that planning process, we make sure that we include in our project tracking, whatever we do, we, we kick off that project with the meetings. So whenever we do kick off meetings, we make sure that we include scope of the work, budgetary constraints, which needs to be taken care of as well, timeframes and milestones, work order, any technical challenges and the solutions as well, risks and appropriate mitigation methods. That's like basically taken care of uh, by project management manager at ACE. The fourth stage, we have design and development. That's where engineers come in. What we do in the design and development process is like we uh, make a list of hardwares and softwares we need for the project. And we compile IO and functional requirements or description. And then we prepare our IO list mappings as well. If the ever materials are not enough, we review the screenshots as well from the site. If it's the existing site, not a new site. And then the testing requirements are also taken care of here. And then we prepare tr training and any other manuals for the projects. And lastly, the safety in design reports are also taken care of. Now in the last second, we take care of testing and commissioning and then completion. The one that's, that comes last, it's taken care of by a um, project manager as well. He submits the project to the, the clients. So in the testing, what happens is we carry out pre-FAT. FAT stands for factory acceptance testing, which we do at our site before we submit the solution to our clients. The pre-FAT needs to be taken care of uh, with a checklist in hand. And then after that, we do FAT, and then we demonstrate it to the client and all the integration has to be taken care of as well. All this happens according to the checklist. And lastly, the commissioning documents needs to be prepared. And finally, we sign off with a SAT, that is site acceptance testing. So yeah, that, that's pretty much it. And all these stages of following the project management or project lifecycle, we stored it in our ACE SharePoint folder. 
So it's all being tracked, taken care of, and latest uh, updates are being uploaded into the ACJ folder.